Good morning, Fellowship High Crest. This is Jill Rice with your morning jumpstart for August 15th. Today we'll be reading in Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 18. Go ahead and join me there. It says, Therefore, br dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's Spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father, for his spirit joins with our spirits to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Uh, have you ever decided that you're going to start an awesome new habit or maybe quit an old one that's not any good for you? Maybe you've decided that you are going to stop smoking or you're going to wake up earlier or uh, maybe you decided that I want to eat healthy and I want to work out. And maybe you're like me and you have started those new habits and you are really excited and enthusiastic in the beginning. You have a lot of motivation and then after a few days, maybe a week or so, and that motivation is rough and it's hard and your emotions and your feelings are like, man, I don't want to get out of bed. Man, I, I do not want to eat healthy today. I just want to stop at McDonald's or I'm not ready to go work out today. I am tired and sore. And uh, the motivation and the energy is just not there. And what you need at that point is not uh, a little more motivation. Maybe you need to think about things differently. You need a new identity and you need to start thinking, I am a healthy person and healthy people eat, um, eat good food and they don't stop at McDonald's and healthy people do get up and go to work out. Um, and maybe I am an early riser. I'm a morning person. And so I'm going to get up early today. And uh, all of those things really help you continue to make choices in those healthy habits. Well, our faith life is kind of the same. Maybe sometimes when we begin our Christian walk and our faith with Jesus, we're excited, we're enthusiastic, we're on fire with God, and we're doing really well. And then maybe we hit that first hurdle and uh, man, I slip back into my old habits, I slip back into my old sinful life, and we get discouraged. Um, this passage helps us remember that when we become followers of Christ, we get a new identity, right? We are his children. We get an intimacy with him. We get to call him Abba Father. He gives us his spirit to live in us. We are whole new people with a whole new identity. We are no longer slaves um, or uh, no longer held down and held back by the sin in our lives, that we do have a new identity. And when we do mess up, because we're going to, when we do fall back into those sinful patterns, our new identity is what helps us not sit there in shame and not sit there hiding and continuing in those patterns, but it's what allows us to come to the Father as His child and not as a slave, not as someone that's been rejected by Him, but as His child that He loves dearly. And he invites us to his throne and to his seat to be with him and says, I forgive you. I love you. I've given you grace and mercy. Let's pick it up and do it again. Right? And that is what gives us that motivation and the ability to say, you know, when I'm tempted here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop because I'm not that old person of who I was before. I am a new person in Christ. I am his child. And because I'm his child, I get to live my life differently. I get to live my life in freedom and in hope. Hope this encourages you today. Do you remember what your identity is? Do you remember you are a child of God? Thanks for joining us today. Continue to power up, pour in, and spill out.